and we have Easter things already. Save me from the suitcase section. Go in a moment and pick up a new chair. Good morning. Today we're talking bedroom decorations. We're gonna to go to TK Maxx and do a couple of errands as well. So stick around for home renovations, shopping videos, reviews, and vlogs. So in my last video, I showed you the bedroom makeover. And as you can probably see from behind me, there's a little bit more that's happened. So I didn't get around to showing you the decorations because I was just so tired. So you saw the room transformation, but we've got some finishing touches that I'll show you now. Essentially, this video is over two days. One day showing you the finishing of the bedroom and the following day, TK Maxx and some errands. Probably pause in the middle because I do need to go in a moment and pick up a new chair. Just refilling the steamer up, but look, you can see a huge difference between the before and the after already. So I'm just waiting for the duvet to finish drying and then duvet cover to finish drying and then I'll pop it on the bed. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go around and dust and put out some more ornaments as well. I'll show you where some of the things came from. So on this bedside table, I've got my lamp I purchased from John Lewis and my journey charger, which I absolutely love. Um, I'll link both below. So Journey Charger charges um, your phone, a second phone or your AirPods and your watch. And then you can also remove this as well and plug it into your laptop for charging on the go. Ooh, so it's very clever. And then also sit my little jelly cat plant. I got him from San Francisco. It's got $20 on, which is funny because jelly cats are actually um, originally from London but I absolutely loved him. Um, this is Bath and Body Works Sleep Spray. Again, got that from America, amazing. It just smells amazing. Aromatherapy Comfort. I don't think they sell that one in next. The light is like, I'll just switch off. <laughs> there we go, that's better. So they do sell Bath and Body Works products in next now. They didn't before, but they have for the last couple of years but I don't think they do this scent, the comfort one. If you also have used Bath & Body products in the past, let me know your favorite scent because they just all smell amazing. My favorite, I do like the comfort, but I also really like the Japanese Cherry Blossom, which is, um, I think, one of their best sellers. And if you smell it, you'll know why. <laughs> um, over here, I've got this beautiful book, Pretty Little London. I actually got this for Christmas. Um, love that. I love everything. I love everything that's in my room because otherwise, why would it be in my room if I didn't? So Pretty Little London and it has so many beautiful, beautiful pictures of London in. Oh, Picnic in Regent's Park. Inspiration for a sunny spring day. That looks really nice. This is my Neptune tissue box. If you watched any of my um, Neptune videos, you will know I was looking for this because they sold out. So I really wanted it, they sold out, and then I managed to get one. I got my new chair. So this is my pre-loved chair. So it's got a wicker, obviously, seat pad, and the gentleman we purchased it off actually does the wicker seat pads himself. So it has a brand new one on and i'm just i love the color and it's not too big so i think it's going to look really nice well you tell me <laughs> let's put it in the room and see what we think let me switch the light on a little bit more there we go you can see a little bit better now it's in really good condition i was thinking i was going to buy it and then sand it down and varnish it but i'm actually really pleased with the color it is so let's put it in situ and then i could also put a cushion on yeah, it's my piece of pre-loved furniture for this room. I wonder if I could do that in every room, like try and get, have a piece of like pre-loved pre furniture or item in every room. 
I feel like next time I do a shopping haul, I need to be sat in this chair. It's like perfect because I can put the things on the bedside table or the chest of drawers over there. It might be a bit of reach, but the bedside table and I can show you what I purchased. Nice, this is good. And if you have any pre-loved items in your home, drop a comment below and let me know what they are. You might give me some ideas for future rooms. So I'm going to finish making the bed up because the duvet cover should be dry now. Look at that. It's given me such peaceful, calm, relaxing vibes, which was definitely what I was going for. So today we're gonna to look at the home decor, see if there's anything else for my room, and see if there's any that think like spring, Easter themes that I can put in there. Um, also, just kind of have a little bit of a meet around, have a look and see what they have in. See if anything catches our eye. And we have Easter things already. Are these little door stops or just ornaments? Got like beanie bottoms. I don't know how much they'd stop the door from closing though, because they're not that heavy. Love these baskets. I have a Fortnum and Mason one, which I absolutely love. Uh, 25 instead of 40. What do we have here? It's like hard to see with everything. Oh, there we go. So we've got some garlands. Some more of these rabbits and they're like reefs. 12.99. What do you think? I like the flowers along the bottom and the bow in the middle. And some more Easter reefs here. Do you have Easter reefs up in your house or on your front door? Seen a lot of Easter ones and flower ones. We could have a sheep. <laughs> oh, these are cute. <laughs> Little baskets, $7.99. Oh, I like these ones, £10. Daffodils are actually in season at the moment. I saw some daffodils in our front garden. I was like, spring is here. Or at least spring is coming. Let's not get too excited. It's more spring is coming. <laughs> there are rabbits, like this one. £5.99. <laughs> Kind of cute with the design around the edge. $3.99. This one I feel like because the colour's lighter, I'd want to paint it. It looks like it's not quite finished. Easter basket. $2.49. Hmm. Carrots down the bottom. What do you do with these though? Do you just pop them on your side? You might just pop them on the side. They're $6.99. I don't know. Some more rabbits. We've got some Easter centerpieces down here. Carrots around the edge. And some more carrots. Yeah, I don't know. Seven pound. Got some Easter trees. <laughs> Egg screw on trees, hey. Look at this box. How cool is that? I feel like it would be a little bit disappointing that they're not mini eggs though. Because they're not, but they very much look like mini eggs. It's 
and then we've got a egg shape one here as well and that's 4 dollars too. Oh, look at these flowers. Maybe I could get something like this for my room, for the windowsill. This one looks a bit plasticky though. Or maybe I could get, a re like, get real flowers. Someone did suggest on a couple of videos ago um, that I could put some flowers in my room, which is a really good idea. So maybe I could get some daffodils. Or I might go to the shop and get daffodils. Since they're in season, they'd look really pretty in my room. Look at this, I'm like, oh, do I need a phone stand? <laughs> so there's some like kids holding your, your phone, $5.99, I don't really need it. I might come back for it. <laughs> Save me from the suitcase section. I find it really hard to resist while looking and buying suitcases. So. I don't know why, they just do some cool ones as well, like they do like secret zips and, and they have some really good ones in TK Maxx, so I'll have a quick look but we'll move swiftly on because it's a bit tricky for me to resist. <laughs> Hold on a minute, does this say Princess Traveller? Princess Traveller. Oh, I feel like I need these. How much are they? I'm not really sure on the colour though, to be honest. Princess Traveller would sell it to me. See what I mean with the suitcases? They look nice ones. They're very boxy, aren't they? good makes as well. Portland. Don't actually know if that's good make or not to be honest. I like this one with the cool stamps all over. Linden Fog ones. How cute are these? <laughs> they are so cute. Oh my goodness, they even have Easter look suit mugs. Little bunny on. I love suit mugs, they're so handy. And these ones you can microwave look. They're $3.99, no matter which size you go for or design. Rabbit apron? Rabbits or hairs? Oh, I think I prefer this one. Oh, little rabbits all over. How much is that one? Eight pounds, that's not bad, is it? Oh, rabbits on that one as well. They're cute. I like looking at the aprons. Chin up buttercup. Five ninety nine. It's 
$7.99. Oh, that's cool. Not for my bedroom, but like maybe for a kitchen. Grow your own cactus kit. I quite like this one as well. Maybe more for a bathroom. Also, stones keep falling out of that one, so don't get that one. Yeah, smells really nice. It's sandalwood and flowers. So, kind of tempted by that one. That's $8.99. So I might have a think about that one. Got ocean mist too. Oh, that smells nice. A little more fruity though. Same design on the top, but they have different designs too. It's really nice. No, I like the sandalwood and flowers. There's so many. Right, I kind of got overwhelmed by the choice in the candles. I'm going to leave the candles for now and I'm going to go and get some daffodils because I think they'll look really nice in my room. I don't know if I want a candle that is like um, Easter themed. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it, but let's go get some daffodils. <laughs> so I'm in Sainsbury's and I definitely thought they'd be a little bit more out than they actually are. You've got like one there that's out. But they'll look nice in my room eventually, so I'm going to get some. British daffodils. That took me way longer than it should to just pick daffodils that all looked exactly the same. But they look like they're going to come out soon, so we'll get those ones. I'm going to go and grab some mints and then go for my haircut. So when you see me again, my hair is going to be shorter. I'm so excited for a haircut, which is a little bit sad, but my fringe is getting very long. See you in a minute. Uh, that's shorter than like I was expecting before I went in there, but then when I was in there, I was like, yeah, good. So I'm happy. And I can see my fringe isn't annoying me, which is definitely a bonus. <laughs> that was really annoying there. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I did that actually looks so much better in this vase <laughs> so some of them are already starting to come out a little bit more anyway well more than what I realized um, and they'll soon come out because they're daffodils so I went into TK Maxx looking for some home accessories and then came out with nothing which is not really like me with TK Maxx but I do find sometimes you go in just thinking like you don't have anything in mind and then you come out with bags and bags of things and other days you're like, right, I'm looking for this and then don't see anything, so. But normally I buy something from TK Maxx and I thought I was gonna get a candle because you know that's my weakness. But I did end up with some beautiful daffodils and when they open out, they'll look really nice. I'm sat in my new chair. This is the first time I've actually sat in my new chair. I've like moved over here. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking the next video we'll go to B&M and Home Bargains to see what's new in. Thank you for coming shopping with me today and seeing my bedroom all newly decorated. Um, for more home renovation videos, click there. For more shopping videos, click there. We've got two playlists going on and subscribe for home renovation, shopping, reviews and vlogs. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.